The great rush of ammunition into California is over. For now, Ammo Freedom Week was put to a halt last night as the Ninth Circuit, as anticipated, decided they were going to side against the Constitution, and they put this out. Again, as a reminder, the case is Rody v. Bonta, and it's, uh, it was before Judges Clifton, Callahan, and Thomas, the three-judge panel, and uh, Callahan dissented, which means... Sh uh, actually, I'll just read it to you. It says, The motion to stay the district court's January 30th, 2024 permanent injunction and judgment, that was Judge Roger T. Benitez, is granted. The existing briefing schedule remains in effect. Judge Callahan dissented and said, I would deny the motion for a stay pending appeal. I do not believe the appellant has met his burden of showing a likelihood of success on the merits or that irreparable injury will occur absent a stay. What the judge just said is the attorney general hasn't proven to us that he's even going to win this case. And people having ammunition isn't an irreparable injury because people have ammunition, they're just able to get it the way everybody else can, at least for, you know, a week. So this was anticipated. This is what the Ninth Circuit does. It's a bunch of, uh, mostly, it's probably three quarters of a bunch of ass clowns. And uh, some people don't like when I say that, but it is what it is. Uh, judges are supposed to side, oh, decide things constitutionally, yet in the Ninth Circuit they never do it. This is going to get interesting. The Ninth Circuit, I mean, the Supreme Court's watching the Ninth Circuit. We have cases that have been granted certiorari. The decision's been vacated and remanded back to the Ninth, and the Ninth played games by sending it all the way back to district court. Uh, there's, some, there's some chicanery and shenanigans going on, and the Ninth Circuit is going to be a place where we get a, some seriously big wins out of here in short order. So... Just wanted to give everybody the heads up, especially all my friends who operate companies who were sending ammunition into California. This came out last night around the close of business, about 5 p.m. at the court, which was about 8 p.m. here. And I was already utilizing my Glen Karen. So if you know what that is, you already know that I was not making a video. Uh, so first thing this morning, I got back from the gym. Here I am telling you that Freedom Week for ammunition in California is over for now. But this case will go forward. And Judge Roger T. Benitez, his decision was absolutely solid on how it was written. So we'll see what happens with the appeal. Uh, this is, this is going to be good. Guys and gals, if you want to stay in the know on Second Amendment news, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it happens in this country, litigation to legislation, this channel is your home. Like the video and share it, please, so that YouTube knows it's worthy of people seeing. And subscribe to the channel. It's lost some subs here the last couple of days with YouTube doing their anarchy BS on the, uh, the, the the subscription numbers, and all my a lot of my friends are telling me, "I dude, I sub every month and I get unsubbed every month." So just double check your stuff, please. And uh, I hope you have a phenomenal day. But make sure you are prepared to be your own first responder. You know what that entails, so do it. Take care. I'll see you on the next one.